following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by With the holidays approaching, we're busier than ever before. But don't let that be the reason to skip on your workouts. Here to show us how we can fit in fitness even when we're busy is Joanna Ferguson from Ferguson Fitness. Welcome. Great to see hey, you. Thanks. Good to see you. Yeah, so some tips to remember. You say schedule the time. Right. You, Of course, you have to kind of just decide you're going to do it and mm -hmm. make it a priority. And most of the time, most of us operate either on our phones, our planners. And so wherever you keep your schedule, um, you have to schedule that time in so, mm -hmm. it, so it happens. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be a really long period of time either. You say quick 20 to 30 minute workouts can be super effective. Right, so you can use things like higher intensity, you know, shorter amount of time and still get the same benefit of doing longer workouts, just, just more condensed mm -hmm. and it's just as effective. Okay, and then set goals with your tracker. Why is that important? Um, well, of course, a lot of people have some sort of activity trackers and so you have a lot of data right there that if you're a numbers person, um, that can be very motivating, like how many steps you're getting in for the day and just, just challenge yourself to do more. Um, you know, stairs climbed and minutes active, things like that. So okay. just use that data and, and push yourself a little bit too. okay and then you say take activity breaks throughout your day that is so important we tried to do that here at our office but sometimes it's easier said yeah than I mean it's it's actually kind of proven effective for more productivity and you know it's it's gonna help you really get to those goals versus trying to cram it all in and you know 30 to 60 minute blocks it's it's just it's more healthy to okay. be to be active throughout your day rather than sit a long time and then yeah, that's so 30 true. minutes. That's yeah. so true. Okay, you're going to show us a five minute workout. Right, so the idea is you can keep it really simple. These are things you can do almost anywhere, like your office or at home. Mm -hmm. um, you just get up, put the timer on and do it. So one minute, five moves each. Okay. Um, we started with just basic squats, right? So okay. get up out of yeah, the chair, so for one minute, the chair, and you're just go going and down and up. Yep, and you can, you can control how, how deep you go. If you have knee issues and things, just mm -hmm. don't go quite quite as far. Okay. So that works. So that's first thing. Easy. And then uh, desk push-ups. Right. So um, a lot of times people have trouble getting down on the floor, especially if you're in business <laughs> attire, yeah, that's right? right? <laughs> um, but you can use like a ledge, like this is perfect to do just, you know, basic push-ups okay. off your desk, mm -hmm. a table, anything like that. That height is great. Yeah. So and this is great to too, the chair dips, because you're sitting in your chair anyway. Right. So just, just pull away for a minute. plant your hands and same thing. You're just going to bend your elbows and keep your back straight. Down and up, you make it harder, take your legs straight out, things like okay. that. Okay. And so. on your heels more. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then one minute lunges. Right. So um, very, very functional. I usually do a reverse lunge. It's a little easier on your knee. Okay. But, and you can hold on to a, a table or a chair to balance, but you're just stepping back. You're keeping your heel up and you're just staying nice and tall, bending your knees. Okay. And yeah, you'll start it's sweating. Knee to the ground or yeah, you will. You will. <laughs> yeah, not quite to the ground. Again, okay. you can kind of control how deep you go based mm -hmm. on what you feel. Okay. And then you have the uh, one minute stair climbing or walking laps. Right. So whatever you have in your house, your office, if you want to just go kind of do the stairwell, just for a minute or so, or if you've got a place to just walk a little bit, mm -hmm. um, just get your heart rate up a little bit, challenge yourself, and you've got a five minute little activity just, break there. Just move. Yeah. How many times should we do this throughout our day, would you say? Um, I would suggest like maybe on the hour, like my, um, if I let it, okay. my Fitbit will say, hey, you, you know, time to move, time to move at like 10 bit, till. Like, let's get, yeah, let's get so moving. that or just as many times as you can, you I know, love it. it's flexible. Thank you so much for the tips. Yeah. All right. So head to fergusonfitness.com. You're also on Facebook under Ferguson Fitness. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh.